Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Cable Rica LED desk lamp. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Okay, so we have a thank you card. Here's a product diagram. We have the lamp bar, silicone neck, sturdy base. The width of the light itself is 18.11 inches. The height is 19.85 inches. The base is 7.16 inches, and that's the width. And then the depth is 5.98 inches, and the light is 13.87 inches. This does come in white or black, and I have the white model here. The light source is LED. The input is 24 volts at 0.5 amps. The color temperature is 3000 to 6000 Kelvin. And I think there are six different settings for that. Lumens is 700 lumens. CRI is greater than or equal to 90. The bar length is 46 centimeters. So to assemble, we install the light bar. We connect the 24 volt input. You can push the button to uninstall the light bar, and then you screw the base to the stand. So this here says you clip the light into the holder, as as opposed to sliding it in. So here are the buttons. We have brightness, color temperature, light sensor, touch on off, light sensor switch, light sensor indicator. So you touch the power to turn it on or off. It has a light sensor switch. It says touch once to adjust the light intensity automatically according to the environment. When the indicator is on, the lamp will auto adjust. Environment turns bright, the lamp turns dark gradually. Environment turns dark, the lamp turns bright gradually. Do not block the light sensor for the function working. Then we have the color temperature. It has six different modes. It has 3000, 3500, 4000, 4500, 5000, and 6000. Kelvin and brightness adjust. Brightness dimmable by long pressing the button. The lamp's brightness will change gradually. We have safety instructions here. You can read through those. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So here's the light bar. You can see it has a row of LEDs in there, buttons on the top. Here are the screws for the base. Here's the power adapter. Here's the base plate. It's very heavy, has rubber feet on it. Here's the stand. So this has a silicone sheath on it, and this is flexible, so you can adjust it. So I'll move this off my desk here. I'm going to affix the base. Okay. So I like to insert all the screws and get them all started before I tighten them down. So I don't put one screw in and tighten it all the way down because that can bind things up. So get them all started, then tighten them down. And also you need to make sure the base is pointing the same direction this curves. Now I need to attach the head here. That will clip on like so, and then I'll plug it in. Then power will plug in on the bottom of the base. There we go, so I can turn it on now. Turn off this light. You can see the lamp is on. So if we want to change the brightness, we'll hold down this button here. So now it's dimming. Hold it down again, it will go the opposite direction. So when it's bright, when you hold it down, it will go dim to the lowest dim setting. And then when you hold it down again, it will go bright. So if you want it in between, you just take your finger off in between. Then we have different color temperature modes. So I can cycle through those. So you can see this is warmer. Now my camera may be adjusting for this, so it may not come out as clear on camera as it is in person. But this is very white or closer towards the blue spectrum. And this is more yellow for the warmer light. Then we have the sensor here. So it just dimmed it because I turned the light off. I want the more white color here. Okay, then we have the sensor on. So I'll go turn off the overhead lights and this should get brighter. Okay, so that got a lot brighter when I turned on the overhead light. I'll turn on my camera light and now this has gotten dimmer. Let me back up here and try and get the whole thing in frame. So there it is. So this can be adjusted up and down a little bit. So you could put this on your desk behind your monitor. One thing I like about this light, it has a CRI or color rendering index of 90. So it makes colors look really nice. So it's a very nice looking light. So I'll turn off the light mode. I'll turn it to the dim setting. So there's the dimmest mode. So I'll put the instructions down here. So I could certainly read that in the dim mode. I'd probably prefer it to be a little brighter. And at that brightness, it's very easy to read. So here's a more diagonal view of this lamp. So I know it's personal preference, but I really like the aesthetic of this. It's very modern and sleek. I have this cord kind of hanging out on my bench here, but if that was tucked behind a desk, it would be hardly noticeable. So it doesn't take up a lot of room. So you could put this behind a monitor. You could put it on the corner of your desk. You could put this on a bed stand, an end table. You could have this illuminating some art. There are many options for using this lamp. Okay, so I have the lamp here set up on my desk. I have it sitting to the left of my monitor. I could move it more towards the center if I wanted to. So let me turn it on. 
So there we go, you can see it's illuminating my desk. Now since this has a flat base on it, this does take up desk space, but it's very thin here. So I could say put my cable organizer on there. I have my switch over here. I could set that on top of it pretty easily. You could put a wireless charger there. You could still use this as your desk space here. So I have my monitor extended all the way up. I can press it down. And then the lamp could come forward a little bit more like this. But I tend to keep my monitor up, so I'll raise this up. So that's the Cable Rica LED desk lamp. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.